Welcome back, everyone. Twitch is here, and I am back yet again for yet another early look at an upcoming San Diego Comic Con 2024 exclusive. And this time it comes courtesy of my friends over at NECA Toys. We've looked at five STCC exclusives from NECA Toys, but we finally come to the last. This is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 pack featuring the first turtles. And yes, Eastman and Laird's are original sketches brought to life. And I gotta say, I don't know what kind of magic, what kind of witchcraft I'm looking at here, but this lenticular cover that's on the back of the box, all I'm gonna say is gonna be kind of hard to toss this. Somehow, some way, I will be saving this, but I love seeing how everything changes as you move around. Now, this of course is a slip case cover and you get the two turtles front and center in a nice window box. So you get to see Eastman's, you get to see Laird's version, and truth be told, this is a real love letter to both of these creators. It's essentially them in a box and I love that. On the back side, you're gonna get gorgeous photography, which that's always nice and helping me pose them out. I will say that, I go, oh yeah, yeah, you could totally do that. You get to see all these characters that they've done so far, including some new ones that are coming. Ah, and here's everyone involved with the creation of these figures, so thank you very much for that. And here's the barcode. Once again, you're not gonna need it because these are San Diego Comic-Con 2024 exclusives. So if you go to the convention, you can grab them at the NECA booth or if you're not attending SDCC starting June 26th through the 28th, you can head over to the NECAstore.com and pick up a set for yourself. So this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is an early look at the brand new San Diego Comic-Con 2024 NECA Toys exclusive from the Eastman and Laird's TMNT Mirage Comics toy line, the first turtles. And so now here's everything taken out of the packaging. Multiple weapons, multiple head portraits. All of the weapons are interchangeable between each style of Ninja Turtle here. You've got Mikey, Raph, Leo, Donnie, but realistically, you've got the precursor to anything that we know now with Ninja Turtles, and that's the beauty of this two-pack. So if you wanna get four of these two-packs, you could do that, essentially. We'll kick it off with the Kevin Eastman Turtle. He comes with these big old open hands, and these are the days of which they were most related to turtles as opposed to Turtles that we get now, even in the head portraits right here. The bandana has a little bit of articulation. That's nice to see. The greens, the reds, everything is very vibrant. This is more of the yeah, kind of angry head, which that's a nice touch. You get a pair of katana. Again, Leonardo's, perhaps, one day. I like how the blades have a little segment in it, and I love just the paint, the yellows, the reds. They just look great. Along with this Tonfa stick, brown has the black accents, little yellow tip to the handle. I dig it. Again, very much the beginnings of the Ninja Turtles and weapons that you would see later on with other variations like Rise of the TMNT. The actual action figure himself. Now again, there is no designated character. Essentially, yes, because he has nunchucks on his arms. You could say, oh, that's Michelangelo. But it's not. It's just, hey, I'm thinking of Ninja Turtles. Let's draw it. Here's what I'm going to come up with. The colors, the accents, the black marks, everything about this is fantastic, but oh so different to things that we now see for anything TMNT. And that is part of the charm of this set. To debut at Comic-Con, how Ninja Turtles was introduced to everyone as a comic book it's very befitting. There's plenty of articulation in the long neck of his along with the head. The arms will go all the way up. There's not gonna be anything in way of a bicep, but in his single jointed elbows, they will spin. So that's enough articulation in that sense. The hands will rotate and move around no problem, but keep in mind, he does have this pair of nunchucks right here that's attached to his wristband. It simply just clips in there and for the most part, they stay in, no problemo, but often, yes. When you go to move the hands around, it will kinda sorta knock into the nunchuck, so 
Just keep that in mind. They will fall out from time to time. I love the front of his shell, the sides right here. There's no belt. Again, very different to what we know now for the Ninja Turtles. The legs will really just kind of kick off to the side. The front part of the shell is a little bit softer, so you kind of get some movement going forward, but not so much back. And he has very tiny knees. It's basically his foot and knee combined, but that matches the artwork. He's got peg holes on the bottom of his feet, but I like that. Again, very different, very unique, very much a Ninja Turtle in the earliest sense. And yes, he does have some tail articulation. It will essentially swivel. I'm glad over time we lost the tails, the silhouettes. We're not doing anyone any favors. He has a semblance of a waist. Perhaps there's something in there. The shell is just so stylized. It just screams the original sketch TMNT. Now to move on to the Peter Laird version, he comes with tiny little hands. Outstretched, of course. You're not gonna hold anything with these particular hands, that's for sure. You do get the extra head portrait, which I like Laird's stylized version more with the beak type nose. I think that gives a little bit more personality. And then at the end of the day, we see Eastman and Laird's combining these to what we see with the turtles nowadays. You get a pair of Psy, again, nicely detailed, painted beautifully. You got the black accent marks, red, yellows, it all works. Then you have an original styled bow where the wrappings were on one side as opposed to now being in the middle. Has a nice brown to it. You got the black accent marks. That's a nice Donatello bow staff. You got a pair of nunchucks. That's cool. You got the real metal chain. Again, red, a little bit of gray paint to them. They move around oh so nicely. A lot of nunchucks in this set, that's for sure, including the spinny nunchuck. You only get one of these. It is a gimmick that we have seen before with prior release TMNT. Has a little bit of articulation there, but effectively creates the comic book look of a spinning nunchuck, but I totally like that for display purposes. And yes, you can detach this if you'd like, although there's not really anything in this set to put it on, but you can detach if you so choose. But again, the black amidst the red, it's just nice, it's cool, it's very interesting to say the least. Now, with Peter Laird's version of this Ninja Turtle, again, you have that long nose, very beaked out look for a turtle, very long neck. This version being a lot more lanky, we'll just say, a lot more segments in the front of his shell, a lot less massive than Kevin Eastman's version, but still retaining the nunchucks that are attached to the wrist guard, and yes, those are removable as well, although, so Kevin Eastman's has chains as opposed to this one not having chains. So little differences. I love the shell on this one. It has texture bumps. The black accents really help bring that to life. It's very interesting. You got a little tail articulation, of course. The neck, double segmented. Very cool, lot of movements out of this. Get him looking all the way up, looking down side to side. You're not gonna have any articulation problems with the neck. The arms will go all the way up. Nothing again at the bicep, single joint spin at the elbow, the wrists. Again, the nunchucks really aren't gonna get in the way. No belts, nothing like that at this point in the creation process. The legs, this one has a much harder front part of the shell, so they're really only gonna go off to the side. Single jointed knees, they'll spin at the knee, and then you have the feet articulation with the peg holes on the bottom. So again, they're a little bit more minimally articulated, but very befitting of these original sketches. This is not supposed to be totally crazy, just off the wall. The main goal for me here is to get them into the original sketch positions, and I'm just hoping we can do that with all of the weapons. Again, Leonardo, Raphael, or are they? They're simply precursors to the characters that we know and love nowadays. These could both be Michelangelo if you really wanted them to be. The sky is the limit. Only your imagination can tell you which turtle you're actually looking at. And again, it's a nice nod to the original comic book Mirage where you really didn't know the difference between the turtles unless they were holding weapons. So again, very interesting, very cool. Swip swap the weapons at your leisure but they just display oh so well, and they're very different for a TMNT collection. But I am happy to say, as I was sincerely hoping for, that yes, you can beautifully recreate those sketches 
minus all the weapons, just the actual look of Kevin Eastman's version of the Sketch Turtle and Peter Laird's version of the Sketch Turtle. They're beautifully recreated. NECA has once again understood the assignment and aced the Ninja Turtles. But to see what's come before, to see what we have now, even though this is the reverse, essentially, you get to see all these other NECA toys, TMNT offerings, and they just look stellar all together. They're fantastic. They'll fit rather well with your TMNT collection as something very different and very unique. And yes, we have seen versions of these sketches done in action figure, PVC, statuesque form before, but it's nice that NECA has finally tackled these and added a little articulation to the mix. And then to see how these stack up to the original Playmates offerings, including the newest Playmates sketch turtles, which are fantastic, by the way, it's just a lot of fun. If you're a Ninja Turtle fan, you're on cloud nine. There is literally something for everyone. We have never eaten so well. Now, in terms of pairing them up with other characters, comic book characters, such as Batman, which we have seen the TMNT team up with before, sure. You could kind of fudge those together. Daredevil, that's a big one. Would love to see that official crossover one of these days. If you don't know the lore behind Daredevil with the TMNT, definitely check it out for yourself. But the big one, of course, being Jack Kirby. Now, if you know the history with Jack Kirby and Eastman and Laird's love of Jack Kirby artwork and how this all kind of ties into the TMNT, we just got a NECA Toys Jack Kirby figure. But I'm going to say... That what I would like to see for the next San Diego Comic-Con exclusive next year, TMNT, no more TMNT turtles, characters and such. I want to see a Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird action figure two pack. I think that that would be stellar. They would go so well with this Jack Kirby, Stan Lee, Todd McFarlane, all the comic book artist greats who have gotten action figures over the years. That would just be stellar. And so with that, we have wrapped up all six San Diego Comic-Con 2024 NECA Toys exclusives. And I want to say a special thank you again to the folks over at NECA Toys for sending these out for the purposes of this video. And I want to say a huge thank you to everyone out there who continues to watch and supports all of my social channels. This is my eighth year doing this. This has been one fantastic, crazy year after another, but believe it or not, it's my 30th year now going to San Diego Comic-Con. So if this is your first year or if you've never been, maybe you plan to go in the future, hit me up down in the comments below. If you ever have any questions, I can even tell you the best places to go eat. You will not be disappointed. But in terms of all these SDCC exclusives, I think NECA has hit that sweet spot where none of these are going to be too detrimental to your collection if you don't get them. But again, if you want them but aren't attending the con, you can head over to their website June 26th through the 28th and grab them on the NECAstore.com. And for those of you going to Comic-Con, you know the drill. You just head over to the NECA booth, stand in line for a little bit, look at all the upcoming figures in those giant glass cases, and just froth at the mouth like I do and go, oh, yeah, that's that's the good stuff. So, again, thank you all for watching. I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, it's almost a month, baby. We'll all be back in San Diego for Comic-Con, and I cannot wait. And when we do... Let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.